How's it going guys? Wanted to quickly explain the difference between a censored and a non-censored motor since it's a question that we get quite often from customers. Uh, the short answer is that a censored motor provides much smoother operation over a sensorless motor. Uh, to kind of understand why it's important to kind of on a high level understand how a brushless motor works, um, you've got three wires, three main wires coming from your ESC to your motor is standard on all brushless motors. So you've got multiple phases of current firing inside your motor. You've got multiple magnets on your rotor. In this case, we're looking at four magnets. Uh, this is a four pole rotor. Your ESC is constantly switching current in order to spin the rotor inside your motor. Um, what it's doing is it's constantly switching magnetic fields inside of the motor so that the magnets on your rotor are, are constantly getting pushed and repelled, spinning in a circle. Again, I'm simplifying the process here. Uh, so if we think of the whole thing as a chain reaction of multiple phases going through a motor, multiple magnets, and that chain reaction all has to happen in order for everything to work smoothly. Um, everything has a place in that cycle. So when you first start out, with a brushless motor, if you're at a complete stop, your ESC essentially doesn't know what position this rotor is in, what position these magnets are in relation uh, to the windings inside of the motor. So what you're basically doing is just sending that motor some current and it will kind of shake when you first start going and that's what they call cogging. You've probably noticed it on an RC car at real low throttle, kind of right when you give it a little bit of throttle, the car will kind of jerk and make a bit of noise and then it starts going smoothly. You might also notice when you're driving it around, if you let off the throttle and then get back on it, the car is kind of jerky. So again, that, that's that cogging that is pretty standard with a regular non-censored brushless motor. Uh, so on a non-censored motor, you've got a standard back plate with no sensor port on it anywhere. And then if we look inside, this is the back plate here, this is the rotor. You'll notice this is just a simple empty back plate simple rotor that just spins inside your motor. So when we look at a sensor motor, a sensor motor is always going to have a sensor port on it at some point somewhere for the sensor wire to, to plug into and the other unplugs into your ESC. And the important pieces inside, these little guys, see if we can zoom in here, these little guys in here are called Hall Effect sensors. A Hall effect sensor is essentially just a little transducer that varies its electronic output based on a magnetic field around it. So what that means is that when you've got these individual magnets that are going past these Hall effect sensors, like that right there, and you've got your sensor harness plugged in here going to your speed control, this is essentially with the magnetic force that's being generated by these Hall effect sensors, it's telling the ESC exactly what position this rotor is in. So the ESC now knows the overall position of that cycle that needs to happen for your motor to run. It knows exactly where this rotor is. So knowing that, it knows exactly which phase to fire and you get much smoother operation. A few other key bullet points about uh, censored motors. Um, all sensors use the same plug style, it's universal. So any sensor harness will work on any censored motor. Uh, in general, a censored motor needs to be run on a censored ESC. There are exceptions to that. There are some motors that can run in either censored or non-censored mode, but as a general rule, if you have a censored motor, you want to run it on a censored ESC. A censored ESC can drive both censored and sensorless motors, but again, censored motor, got to be plugged into a censored ESC. So that about sums up the basic differences between a censored and a sensorless motor. Hope that kind of clears it up for you guys that may not have known what a censored motor was or exactly how it works. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us at the contact info in the link below and check us out at rcjuice.com. Thanks guys.